Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Tales of Berseria. Today, well we're here. Where's here? That's a good question. We're on a prison island and we have to assumingly escape according to Ceres. What's this? Uh, copper coin. Right. Orange baubles. Actually, the more yellow baubles, huh? And I can't open my mini map, or not mini map, my map, so I can't really check the name of the place, but apparently I have the keys to these cells. Uh, I don't think we actually got them anywhere. So maybe they just left them unlocked. Thanks. Uh, I can't change my equipment or my arts or anything like that. I can't even go into my items, so yeah. I have almost half health, which is probably not good, or fragment. Alright. And enter. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Convenient. Where's the room ahead? And by room ahead, you mean not here? Alright. I guess over up here. Ooh. What's this? Silver coin. I'm I'm assuming these collectibles, these little baubles that we're getting, are actually just stuff we should sell. Uh, I don't think we've ever really got anything that was like like a piece of equipment or a consumable item or anything like that. It mostly just seems like kind of trash. And I, I'm using that term in more of the uh, the MMO sense. There's trash loot. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. I will. Thank you. This is not the proper color chest. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I'll use it. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking <laughs> That's it? That's what she said. It's a celebrated masterpiece. I will take it. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. We could sell it. Where the hell did we get that stuff? I was assuming that was after the, after this area. I like All the right. coat. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Oh, you guys look really. Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. Yeah. He's an exorcist orderly. Spin dragon. You're beating the crap out of him yourself. You're not in my party, though, so... Oh, wait, do I have Searing Edge? Yeah! Ow. Man, she's beating the crap out of She's not in our party, though, so... Brutal. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Why'd you quit? Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yeah, I saw the, the, the title. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Where demons did you possibly learn that? things when they don't want you to eat them. Oh, okay, never mind. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. Are you gonna, are you gonna join my party? Is that, is that a no? He only gave us 11 experience? That's rather bad. Alright, so we got everything back. We got a lot of searing at you. Did we learn anything new? No. No, everything's the same? Alrighty. Equipment? Did we change anything here? Uh, title? No. What is this? Two level, character level. Mm, 40? I don't know. Hmm. Sure will come in handy sometime in the future. I was told that uh, the left stick does expand the second tree, which is actually kind of common these days. Provide the ability for equipment to trigger random skills that improve the six basic uh, statistics. Do, can I equip this somehow? Or is it something I have to do for, like, crafting? 
I'm sure they'll probably explain that in the future. So he's still going this way. He said back docks, but I don't actually know which way's which. Well, that way's blocked. Are we, uh... Oh, there's the... The, uh, the objective for us. That wasn't appearing last time. Oh, and there is a save point. Titania Island Prison. Alright. I think that's how you pronounce it. What's this? What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. There's a lot of hostility well in this party right now. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <clears throat> Felt it. We just left a sword in a chest. And you just state you're going to use anything that might be useful? We could probably learn to use a sword or find someone to get that sword. Is that recorded anywhere? I don't know. I got all... <laughs> okay, well, I get all the outfits available that we've worn so far. That's good to know. I like cosmetics. Probably gonna stick with this one, though, for a little bit. Okay, so there's three doors and another part of the dungeon. No real enemies yet. Are they just gonna be in this place or all over the place? Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. Are you guys on an island? The path that goes under the watchtower? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, I guess it might be like Nobody a big island, anyway. maybe. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists, break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. We're gonna get past them. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I would imagine. Why Why do you say serious like that? <laughs> Stay sharp. This the is threat could be, be serious. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I like your earrings. I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Except that sword. Fuck that sword. Alright, so we can't go that way. We actually have to go down this way. Makes sense. I don't know why the... Interesting, so we have to go... I'm, I'm assuming these ways are going to unlock after we get out. Because they were lit up like we were eventually going to go to them. That's a barrier. Or yoke. Who in the blazes are you? I'm Valet. Nice to meet you. Uh, RB lets you see information on the current target. You can switch targets by holding a button down and tilting your left stick. Changing to and attacking appropriate targets helps battle goes more battles go more smoothly. Dope. You can hold down the RB to pause battle and see information on the current target. While holding RB, you can tilt the left stick to switch between them. You just told us that. Also, by tapping RB, you can target the closest enemy to the front. Here I go! There we go. So, so uh, like, how do I get my giant claw out? Because I, I, like, I would like to use that. Uh, Searing Edge. Oh, God. There we go. There's no bonus damage from attacking from behind? That's surprising. We're finished here. Let's go. I would like to know her stats. I have a thing with temporary party members and stats. Holding RB and pressing B will bring up your enemy's book information on the target. Enemy book information. Huh, okay, that's a weird phrase. I know what they're talking about, beastiary. 
Uh, this will let you check your car, uh, foe's various statistics, as well as what sort of equipment they can drop and the elements and potential status effects carried by their attacks. So that corridor three doors led to three doors. But how many lights are there? He's crying. Why are they crying? Get that big kitty. I'm sure the cat's fine. Can we eat the demons? Does that give us strength? I like how she's like, yeah, go for it. I don't care. You serious? Maybe. Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried and Melchior. I won't force you. You want to rot in here, then rot. I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. Rogues like us are always I'm up for sick a of the slop <laughs> they feed us. Ceres. Uh. We probably shouldn't let them out. They're they're all criminals, probably. And I think some of them are actually Let's demons. Go. We'll murder those exorcists. Apparently, Open those demons the were that all right with the human people the in there. Guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates. I told you, I'll use any tool I need. I, they're they're criminals, probably. Also, like, straight up, why did the demons, like, not give a shit that they were with humans? Aren't they supposed to be, like, eating humans or, like, something? Well, what do we do? Is it better to run for it or stay? What should we do? On one hand, we can't win against the exorcist, but staying here forever? That's what I'm saying. Which is better? Tell me now or I'll kill you where you stand. Figure it out for your own damn self. You guys are, you guys are like, full of conflicts. Thank you. I wonder how many of those there are. Hello. You're a child. I remember you from Zestaria. You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna <laughs> die like dogs. Man, you are goblins. This app. Your voice acting, man. <laughs> They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the Abbey joined forces with the Kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Malachim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. This is a happy story. Ridiculous, resisting the Abbey spells only death. Tch, if only I had a ride, there'd be no problem. Then escape? Leave! Also, Malchior, that name sounds really familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Uh, the pirate dude, he... Well, at least the name is a recurring character through Tales games. I actually don't remember in Zestaria what he was mentioned for. So these guys aren't complete demons yet. That explains why they weren't like eating the humans. They're they're still human-ish in their minds. Hmm. You've attracted the merry band of fools, but we're not falling for it. Hell no. Why would I help some perfect stranger? <laughs> I may have killed thirty men, but that doesn't mean I want to join them. That's meow. That's right. If you have a death wish, by all means, go right ahead. I mean, 
I'll just reload a save if I die. Ooh, that's equipment, right? That's battle boots. Not too shabby. Yeah, this stuff is just, I think, sellable stuff. There might be other uses for it later. Let's go to battle boots. We already had some. This one's a little bit better with the random HP. Oh, uh, so that's what that means. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I was wondering if they kept the uh, the random stats on equipment for some items. Uh, when I saw the the uh, the potonite or whatever the hell it's called, the the thing we got last episode, uh, I thought that meant like you could add a random effect to a uh, piece of equipment eventually. But that makes more sense that they're just random skills now. Well, I stay here. I like being undead. We's better than being regular dead. Shit, man, that's... That's logic. Now, I'm assuming the other corridors lead to, like, the, uh... Ooh. I mi somehow missed you. Uh, I'm assuming the other doors lead to other cells. We should check those out, if at all possible. Dear me, not a word of apology? What? <gasps> Hello, creepy girl. Huh, what is wrong with you people? There I was, sleeping like a sweet babe, when suddenly... From paradise down to hell! No worse, a grimy prison cell! <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. And You're going to you talk are? like that through the whole game, aren't you? Hooray! You asked! I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the Eleven Seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious, Magikigikambi Ludindo Dindo Larundu! Magilu for short. Magilu? Magilu? No, Ma, like Psagi Shoe or Doggy Do, or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this character. <laughs> I suppose you'll never understand. <laughs> People can be so tragically unlearned. That's true. But hey, like I care. Maybe I will like you. I don't know. Just don't constantly talk like that, and I think we'll be fine. Let's go down to these cells. At least check for chest or something like that. Ooh, powerful witch! I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. What's the difference between a magician and a witch? No, seriously, I, d I don't know. Uh, that does sound like I'm setting up for a joke or something, but... Nah, I got no goddamn idea. Though that's true. Normal humans can't use magic, right? They have to have, like, a seraphim equipped to them, like uh, the shepherd. Right? Yeah, only seraphim can use magic. Humans are stuck using arts. At least in Zesteria. Probably shouldn't have gone through that guy's conversation without reading it. But, uh, well. So she did. And, yeah, I, I'm. I kind of get who the Malakim are. Um. Due to how they entered the screen. Though, that's probably yet to be explained. And if you don't know or, been like, watched Zesteria, then I don't want to spoil it for you. And I also could just be wrong. They might not actually be what uh, I think they are. But could be connected? From the from when they come out of the like the sky like that, it does totally like seem like when they did that in other things, right? I'm talking to myself in circles, you're right. Probably should just go and check these cells. Now these, uh, souls, Malik souls that they we were getting, is it just for this dungeon or if it's just a world thing? If it's a world thing, it has to be in our, like, labeled in our 
our menu somewhere, I would think. But there wasn't there. It's not there. Library? Maybe under... Player records? We got like five, right? That's not it. No, it's not here. Ah, we'll worry. We'll worry about it later. Hopefully, it's not something I easily miss. Oh, wow, this is just a guard's barrack? Is that a herb? A herb? No, an herb. Sage. I like it. Herbs. Herbs can increase characters' perimeters. Grow, uh, herbs that can increase characters' perimeters grow in various places around the world. They will grow back in time after you collect them. So use them freely on your favorite characters. I'm going to use them all on the main character, because that's just what I do. Speaking of which, item, Sage. Booyah. That's one of the reasons Soray was so powerful in the last game. That and I gave him all the good equipment and actually took time on his little symbol board. Ooh. No, we got this one already. It just respawned because we, uh... Oh, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Oh, maybe... Yeah, no, I think there was a cutscene and we just kind of avoided it. Can I open the map yet? No? Hmm. Another save point. A chest. What do we get? Void Ring. Ring that reduces damage from non-elemental attacks. Let's check it out. It increases uh, attack and focus. Yeah, it lowers magical defense a little bit, but... I'm good with that? Sure. Let's make a quick save. I don't know how big this place is. I'm assuming since it's the big dun- like a beginning dungeon, not a big dungeon, a beginning dungeon, that it's not that big. But it is full of cutscenes. Hello! I'm Velvet. <laughs> More? Sure, bring it on. This one. He's a demon. Get ready. I like his eye. Red eye swordsman. Deception. How? Speed dragon! <laughs> You're not human. Neither are you. Well, I mean, I'm kind of human. I'm more like a beauty and the beast type thing, right? Like, I eat demons. I look human, though. Actually, I look fantastic. Ow, ow. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, damn it! Oh, she got you good, Nick! When am I gonna learn how to use my claw? He's strong. I mean, we were kicking his ass. Shifts in the blades already. <laughs> Brittle, these exorcist knives. I've gotta reclaim Storm Howl. I know where that is. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? That is a change Please of attitude. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. See you later. He's an odd demon. You're one to talk. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. We have a window? I mean, I am going to go explore a little bit. Sharpshooters Ventiet. Enable snipe charge in battle after guarding for a set amount of time. Obtaining certain items grant charge abilities to the guard command. When sharpshooters ventiat snipe charge, maintain a guard for a second to do double the chance of inflicting stun or other status alignments with an immediately following attack. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, why? Stormhell. Could that demon be? What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. Understatement. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. Yeah, understatement, uh, yeah, yeah. Except for you. That's not true. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. I think she cares. Wait, which way's the right way? Well, we were heading this way, 
So I'm assuming that way is the right way. Let's go this way. Sounds like it worked. We can't go this Let's way. Let's find that tower. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll continue exploring next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.